can't overstress this statistic enough. Lance McCullers threw 651 off-speed pitches through the regular and postseason. Not one of them was hit for a home run. Four of them were hit for home runs last night, which suggests clearly that something was going on. Let me just ask you, because I'm sure a lot of fans are watching it, that looks to, to the naked eye, or to, to those of us, like sort of a subtle difference. But you're saying when you're at the plate, you see that very, very clearly. And you're looking for one spot when he's right here. As we can tell, when he's right here, boom. Is it open space? Is it closed? Is the glove turn? You're looking there. Are you looking at his eyes? No, we're looking for where the ball is. So where's hands? So it's not a leg thing. It's boom, right here. It's real simple. And, and, and how commonplace is this? This is what's fascinating to me is the fans are home. We're watching these games, and we're with a game within the game. This is, to be clear, this is not gamesmanship. This is no. you're looking for someone who is giving away what they are doing. How common is something like that? It's common like brushing your teeth in the morning. It's everyday work. People are looking. Players are going back looking at film. you got hitting coaches, even pitching coaches. You can ask, hey, look, can we talk about this? Is this something we can go over and see and figure out? I mean, I wanted to know. I was an average hitter, so the more I knew, I'm going to trust that and go with it. Now, so to be clear, I told you this morning in our meeting, I'll take you behind the curtain here. I said, you go find the video and tell me exactly what he was doing. You yep. were able to find that pretty quickly. So why is it the Astros and McCullers himself couldn't figure out, oh, after the third home run, maybe I'm doing something that's tipping my pitches? Yeah, it, it's something where it's like you don't want to do something during the game, like go out there, keep pitching. Hopefully you figure it out. Hopefully you hit your spots. But – at the end of the day, they crush the ball. You got to figure something out. It's that gamemanship and the game between the game stuff you have to worry about. And now they're on their heels again. The swing game, game three. How would you describe how different it is when you know what's coming? When you think you know what's coming, how much does that change everything for you as a hitter? It's like Christmas morning, man. You're excited. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you right now. You know you're getting every gift that you wanted from Santa Claus. And guess what? It's right there. It's going to be right, in, right where the cookie is, baby. You eat that cookie and you let that thing drive. I couldn't be more excited because when I got it, most of the time I'm hitting the ball hard at least. And when I did hit a homer, I go up my hitting coach and say, give me a big hug, baby. It's <laughs> awesome. All right, game four tonight. Who's in control of this? Obviously, the Phils are up two games to one and they're at home. What do you expect in game four tonight? <sighs> Phillies. I, 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 don't see them not, I don't see them losing again, to be honest with you. Aaron Nola back at home. He, he didn't pitch well on the road. The, you know, let's talk about numbers. He doesn't do well on the road, but at home, he's dominant. Phillies, watch out. Every prediction you have made on our show, by the way, has been right. You're the one who told us the Let's Padres go, were going to wind up beating uh, L.A. in a series. No one thought they had a chance to win. Really well done today, Thank Todd. You, Thank you very much. More on that as we go. In the meantime. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.